You can tell I'm in my third trimester because just talking in these videos is putting me out of breath. Hey there. I hope the audio for this video works out okay because I have not turned off the ceiling fan because if you can tell, the ceiling fan is on and I am already very sweaty. Um, it's just that kind of a summer and I'm pregnant so I'm not going to care too much. I come to you today from the nursery in our house, which is currently very firmly still our toddler's bedroom. Um, but the thing that's not really hers that's in here is the changing table uh, because she has very successfully been potty trained by the age of two and is no longer in diapers at all. So I've taken the changing table and I've moved it all around, reorganized it to be the setup for um, the diapers storage and utility for our new baby coming in September. So today you get to come with me on a tour of our diaper setup slash stash for our second baby in cloth diapers. If you've watched any of my older videos uh, from before <coughs> our firstborn was born, um, none of this will be new. Pretty much all of it will be pretty repeat. We have this crib here that it has the changing table attached. Um, and currently our toddler is still sleeping in the crib. At some point we'll move her into a toddler bed um, at some point before um, our second daughter is ready to move into this crib. Uh, but for now she's still happy in there. She hasn't tried to climb out. So that's still her bed. But the changing table is going to be for the baby. It's got some drawers down here and that's where all of our diapers are set up. And then over here is where we have just a general laundry basket, a trash can for poopy trash. It, it will become for poopy trash once number two starts on solids. Um, for now it's just a trash can. And then this is our diaper pail. So I'll just start over here. Um, the diaper pail is just a plastic trash bin, trash, trash can bin from Walmart. It has a lock on the lid, which is handy. Um, at the time I bought it, it had like a uh, button here that would release the lid if it wasn't locked but eh, the plastic kind of wore out pretty quickly. <laughs> I have a really cute video of when it broke off. My daughter like was trying to fix it. It was pretty cute because she was like, I don't know, five months old or something. <laughs> um, it's lined with just a normal old wet bag. Um, this is perfectly clean because it hasn't been used in a while, but we've got two wet bags that we rotate. We'll wash one and use the other, and then that's just our storage for dirty diapers waiting to go in the laundry. I'm going to scoot this out of the way so that you can see the storage we have on these shelves underneath. I recently reorganized it a little bit to make it a bit more attractive and a little bit easier to see. So oh, let's get started at the bottom. These are the covers for the changing pad up top. We went through a phase where we weren't using covers on it at all and just had the vinyl that you could wipe down. We may find that that's necessary. Right now, you know, with the toddler, it wasn't an issue. So we have the fun fleecy cover on the changing pad. Um, and so this is where those covers live. This basket has crib sheets. And so um, once we've got two cribs in here, there will be fewer in the basket at any given time. Behind them are some spare flower sack towels and inserts, as well as the fleece liners that we use um, to collect solids poop. So once she, the new baby is on solids, that's when these will get used. Um, these are all inserts for the pocket diapers because I will show you, I've reconfigured the pocket diapers for a smaller baby. This top shelf has all of our wet bags. These are all the travel wet bags with like the front and back zippers. I think we, yeah, we own five, but one of them is currently in the backpack that our toddler takes to daycare, um, just so that if she has an accident, that's where her dirty clothes go. But other than that, they're in here for rotation. And then this is the other can liner wet bag with the elastic on top. And then behind here are even more spare inserts. These ones are all the microfiber ones, which are not currently in use, but will be eventually once we need extra absorbency in the pockets. This is not the changing pad that came with this changing table. As you can see, this one is a little bit big. We just kind of have to shove it in. Um, so it hangs off the front, but it doesn't fall out. It's very snugly in there. Um, I think this is like a summer infant brand one and we don't use the straps because we never have. We just keep an eye on the baby. No one's gotten hurt so far, so it's not a problem for us. 
but you know, I, I would probably recommend using the straps if you're at all worried. Drawer number one is mostly cloth wipes. I made all these myself back when I was nesting with number one, so I'm glad I don't have to do that again. They are flannel on one side and terry cloth on the other, just turned and top stitched. I have to get that back in there. It's easier when they're in rotation and some of them are in the laundry and you don't have to shove everything in here all at once. Um, we've got here, this little box has some normal wipes. Um, my husband kind of tends to prefer disposable wipes. I tend to prefer the cloth ones, especially when we're dealing with newborn poop, you can use the cloth wipes for poop. When we're dealing with um, like older baby and toddler poop, we always use the disposable wipes for poop messes and then just the cloth ones if it was just a pee, pee diaper. There's a couple snappies that are just kind of thrown in here. They just need to be, you know, somewhere. Oh, and these here, uh, this is the lock for the magnet lock. I'm not sure if I locked it, so I'll keep it out. Um, these snappies are for the uh, pre-folds, which are in the next drawer, so you'll see. Over on this side, tucked in the corner, we've got spare bin liners for the trash can. Boudreaux's butt paste, the green tube is cloth diaper safe and it works amazing. We've tried Desitin and it's like, it's like whipped cream cheese on a hot bagel, but this stuff goes on like amazing. So uh, this here is a little essential oil blend that our babysitter makes. I'm not one to be like all woo about essential oils, but this stuff works amazingly. I think it's the tea tree oil that works really well on diaper rashes. Uh, this is what we use to wet our cloth wipes. It is just a peri bottle with some tap water. And then this here is a couple other essential oils with some water. This, um, it's got like lavender and lemon. No, it's got lemon and uh, eucalyptus. And I use this just to um, de-stink the area when it smells like poop. It works pretty well as an air freshener. So that's what's there. Um, even more wipes, overflow wipe storage. And then all along here are all of the diaper covers that we have. So these go over the pre-folds, which again, we are coming to. So for the first baby, we had six of these Rumperoos covers. Um, and I'll, I'll go ahead and just pull them out so you can see the designs. I got all Rumperoos because for one thing, I like the idea of just everything matching and being simpler for the, you know, we're novices at cloth diapering. Only having to learn one cover was easier for us. Um, we've got one of the Tokidoki designs. The problem with the Rumperoos that we started to really dislike by the end of it all was the tag on the back. If you've ever used a Rumperoos cover or diaper, I think it's pretty much the same design everywhere. Um, they have this tag in the back of the diaper instead of a lot of brands will have a tag on the, the flap or something. This one has a tag and it is reinforced with an extra piece of PUL, but still there's stitching that goes all the way from the inside to the outside. And we found, especially with a newborn who was on their back a lot, that this was the first place that would leak. <laughs> we'd get leaks around the legs, we'd get leaks here. And um, yeah, we never complained to customer service, but I saw a thread on Reddit once where somebody had complained to customer service and the response they got back was, change your diaper more often. It's like, yeah, okay, but there's still a default in your diaper design. So we don't hate them, but we don't love them. And so six was probably enough, uh, but I wanted to get a few more. We still will have these in rotation, but we'll probably gravitate towards the newer ones first. So I got these pre-loved online and I'm really excited to try them. So this one is a blueberry coverall. Um, everything is currently snapped up to its like tiniest setting. So these are all newborn size covers. So they're very, very small. Um, this is just a cover and does it have, it does, it's got double leg gussets as well. So do these. Um, I like the design, it's pretty cute. I can't tell you if I love how these work or not, but so far, all I know is the tag is in a place where it's not gonna cause issues. <laughs> I've heard Blueberry is a good brand for um, newborn size stuff. This is Imagine Baby. We have never had Velcro diapers before. Um, and so this is our first Velcro cover. We'll see if we love it. I've heard good things that some people just swear by it, especially for newborns. So we've got a diaper here, one, one cover. It's 
got the um, little tab here to protect the Velcro in the wash, so that's good. And it also, um, you can cross over a little bit to make it even smaller. So that will be good. And then we have another Imagine Baby here. Particularly love this print with the elephants. This one's got snaps. And so that is our full stash of newborn diaper covers. These go with what's in the second jar, which is all of our pre-folds. These are all just the oh so cozy newborn size. I just wanted to get a inexpensive cloth diaper solution for the newborn phase. When we're on maternity leave, we don't have to worry about babysitters or grandparents or anybody worrying about how to do the diapering. So we can have a slightly more complex system with the two pieces and the snappies. Um, and so that's what we decided to go with because newborns poop and pee a lot. I think we have about three dozen um, and man these get so stained I remember spending so much time sunning them with the first baby uh, so probably that will continue to happen or at least I will send them <laughs> before we put them into storage but we only have them in newborn size and after that when she's will fit into one size diapers we'll move on to pockets which are on the bottom drawer here and I've gone through and have taken uh, out one of the inserts. So previously these had a natural fiber insert and a microfiber insert and then they were you know fully extended because they were on our toddler. But now that she is potty trained she's not using these anymore at all. So I've put them all up to their smallest rise setting and removed all but just the one uh, cover. This is the three or sorry one insert. This is like the three layer or three or four layer uh, bamboo from Alva Baby. You do have to be careful when you get the Alva Baby inserts. Some of them are like charcoal bamboo or whatever. It's like a blend of there's layers of bamboo and then there's layers of microfiber. So they don't work as great. If you think you're getting all natural and it has microfiber in there, then you're not getting what you think you're getting. So you have to be careful. But this is the, the one that's all bamboo all the way through. At least I think so. And um, so we've got those set up these all just have one insert and they're ready to go once the baby's a little bit bigger. I am interested to see if I can get some of the newborn hacks to work where you snap things differently and you know cross over tabs and all that. Um, but for the most part we're not planning on using these until baby's a couple months old. A little bit bigger. I think they're rated to start at maybe eight pounds or so but they really start to fit a lot better I think once you're closer to 10 to 12 pounds probably depends but we've got currently I think I counted like 19 of these but there's another seven that um, I got pre-loved for the first baby and so the elastics on those are very relaxed and I just this last weekend got those to my mom who likes to help with some sewing projects and so she's going to replace the elastics or at least the leg elastics in those so that we can use them with number two um, so we've got those down here and then also in the front are our swim diapers. We have two Alpha Baby swim diapers. This one's pretty cute. It's got the little watermelon design. These aren't snapped in any particular way. I haven't like snapped them up or anything. I don't really have any plans to take my newborn to the pool, but these have to go somewhere. And so they are gonna be down in the bottom drawer. Um, have I done a full stash shot? I think at some point I did show you all of these in various places. Um, this video will be part of the cloth diaper playlist on my channel. So if you're interested in looking at those videos that I've done in the past, I did an, an unboxing of a lot of these and previous to that did a stash video. But some of the favorites include the Rescue Bots diaper because my husband's a big fan of Transformers and has passed that love on to our daughter. Um, she will actually sing the Transformers theme song, which is so cute. Um, this is a Star Wars print by Alva Baby. And by the way, I didn't say these are all Alva Pockets. I am, yeah, un unashamedly, I love the China Cheapies. They just, they work for us. We got some Bum Genius used um, before the first baby, and I ended up selling them all and buying more Alvas, because I just, I like, for one thing, I like that they all are the same, um, that they're all the same design of pocket diaper. Like the Transformers one, this is from Foxy Cloth Creations but they're all the same you know they're all basically rebranded alvas so they'll work the same we don't have to have like difficult 
like, oh, these ones you have to snap this way and these ones you have to snap a different way. It makes it easy for everyone who's involved in diapering. They're all done the same. Um, and so, yeah, they're, they're all the cheap ones, but I really love them. And we have a lot of the solid prints. Those go with everything. I love that you can match them to the outfit that your baby's wearing. You don't have to go with those diaper covers that don't fit over cloth anyway. Um, and you just look super cute all the time. So that's what we've got. If you have any specific questions, um, do let me know. I can always do more cloth paper videos because I kind of love it. It's not like what my channel is about, but if you're here for the baby content, then maybe I thought you might be interested. So that's what we're doing here today. Thank you for watching. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you.